This content is intended for educational purposes only. Unauthorized use of these techniques is illegal. Please act responsibly. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how cybercriminals can gain unauthorized access to Bluetooth speakers and take full control, like playing or pausing music, skipping tracks, and in extreme cases, launching a denial-of-service attack that completely freezes the speaker, cutting off communication with any device. But don't worry, I'll also show you how to protect yourself from these types of Bluetooth attacks so you don't fall victim. If you're an ethical hacker, penetration tester, or just curious about how Bluetooth exploitation works, this video is definitely worth your time, and it might even sharpen your skills. But before we get started kindly note that this content is strictly for educational purposes only. Everything shown in this video is performed on my own device in a controlled environment. Do not use these techniques on devices you do not own or have explicit permission to test. Hacking without consent is illegal and unethical. Now, let's get started. Alright, we're in the terminal. First, I'm going to navigate into the directory that contains our Bluetooth exploitation tool. It's called Speaker Exploit. This tool is commonly used by penetration testers and cybersecurity professionals to test the security of Bluetooth-enabled audio devices. Let's run it and see how it works. The tool is now asking us to turn on Bluetooth so it can scan for nearby devices. I'll go ahead and enter Y to enable Bluetooth on the machine. And now, we've got a few options. Scan for new Bluetooth speakers. Connect to previously saved devices. For this demo, I'll select option 1, scan for new Bluetooth devices. The scan has started, and as you can see, the tool is doing a bit of behind the scenes work, checking Bluetooth status, setting up connection, initializing protocols, and preparing the exploit environment. This part can take a few seconds depending on how many Bluetooth devices are around, so stay tuned as the scan progresses. All right. Success. The tool has found several nearby Bluetooth speakers. Looks like we have eight devices detected. I'm going to select device number two, which is the one I want to work with for this demonstration. Let's proceed and see what kind of control we can gain over this speaker, and more importantly, how these vulnerabilities can be mitigated. All right. We've reached the final stage. Here, the tool gives us several options, we can choose to play or pause the current music, skip to the next or previous track, or in the worst case scenario, launch a denial of service dose attack that completely disables the speaker. Now, attacks like this are very real, and they often succeed due to weak or outdated Bluetooth security protocols. Let me break it down for you. Most of the time, these exploits work on speakers with poor encryption, default pins, or firmware that hasn't been updated in a long time. That's why it's crucial to always keep your gadgets up to date. Firmware updates often include security patches that block known vulnerabilities. Also, when purchasing Bluetooth devices or any smart gadgets, buy only from trusted, licensed sellers. Avoid off-brand or cloned devices, many of them skip security features to cut costs. In fact, the speaker used in this video turned out to be a cloned copy of a popular brand, not the real thing. So don't get it twisted. Authentic brands like Sony are known for their strong encryption and solid Bluetooth security. They're far less likely to fall victim to this type of attack. 
So always follow these basic protection tips. Update your device firmware regularly. Buy only from official or authorized distributors. Avoid suspiciously cheap or unknown gadget brands. These simple steps go a long way in keeping your devices safe from Bluetooth exploits. Before we wrap up, just a quick reminder. This video is created strictly for educational and awareness purposes only. Everything you've seen was performed in a controlled lab environment on devices that I own. The goal is to educate and protect, not promote illegal activity. Always use cybersecurity knowledge responsibly. Stay safe, stay updated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay ahead in cybersecurity. Check out more videos here to keep your knowledge sharp.